Here we're going to show you how to uh, replace the filters in the geothermal units. Come up into the attic. The unit straight ahead. This is the unit that uh, feeds, I think, the uh, corner of the house. So you come over here to the left of this unit. Sorry about that. And see on the left of this unit, on that left corner, right here, go down to the bottom, and you'll see a little tab, hopefully. You can see it. A little hard in the light. But down here in the bottom is a little black tab. You rotate that to the left, and this whole slot, a little channel, opens up like that. Channel comes out. The filter is right here. You slide it out. It's running, so it's kind of got vacuum on it, but you slide this out. You look on that filter to see which one it is. And then the boxes of all the filters for all the units are right here to the left of that unit. There they are. So you pick the same filter that you just took out, slide it back in, zip, pop this channel on, turn the screw, and voila. Here we're going to show you how to replace the filter in the 5 ton biggest unit in the house. Come up into the attic. It's over here on the left. It's right, right on your left. You will see on the left, right hand side of this unit, as you look down the right side there, there's that little channel. We go up to that little slot, little narrow slot, the two panel there, down on the bottom. Actually this one's on the top. There's a little tab right here. Rotate that to the left. That panel comes down. Pull that little filter out. It would be easy to do. The unit's not running. This comes out. You look at the unit. You say, hey, that's a MR13. I go over to the boxes. Over here. To the filters. I find an MR13. I get the MR13, I return it, I drop it in the slot. Slides right in. Little panel clips in the bottom, hooks in the top, push the tab in, lock the tab, you're all done.